John Stone is a car salesman in Chicago who was fired Monday after his boss asked him to take off the Packer tie repeatedly, and John refused to do it. Here's his explanation. Middle showroom floor says, take your tie off or you fire. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, Jerry, can I just zip it up? No, you're fired. Get out. I don't feel that it was appropriate for him to go directly in contrast with an advertising campaign that we spend a lot of money on. Were there customers complaining? Not yet, but it was early in the day, and we weren't going to give them the opportunity to do so either. All right, John Stone joins us right now on Sports Center. All right, so it, it sounds like, from your explanation, it was a bit of a hostile situation, yet when you hear the boss explain it, it was a bit more calm. What would be the most accurate here? Well, this is, I'm on the line. You're on. Okay. Uh, it seemed hostile. It, I, I'm upset. I'm, I'm still wondering. I'm baffled why he would fire me over a tie. And he never came to me and explained to me that he had a con. I, I was new there. So he never explained to me it was a contract with the Chicago Bears. I never knew anything like that. He never put me to the side and said, John, uh, we don't have a contract. Uh, please remove your tie. If he had a came to me like that, that's no problem. It never work. But he hollered at me, and he cussed me out he on the showroom floor. No kidding. So he, he never yeah. asked you to take it. He says he asked you five times or so to take it out. He never he, did that. He only asked me this three times. Mm. The first time when I was called up to the uh, sales desk, and it was other salesmen there, he was just messing with me. Then... He said it again, but I had a customer, and he let me go help my customer like it was not a problem. I helped a customer out. So they had a meeting, and when they came out to meet out the meeting, which I don't know what they had it for, they came out, he told me on the showroom floor, take your tie off or you're effing fire. No kidding. And, and, I, and I pointed to my jacket because it was already zipped up. He said, no, you're fired. Get out of here. Is there, was, was there any kind of hostility in the workplace between you being a Packer fan surrounded by a bunch of Bears fans? I know it's pretty serious there. Chicago. Yeah, it, it was a little jaw, you know, just jaw jacking. It wasn't nothing that, the most I heard was, man, I should, yesterday was, man, I should choke you with that tie. And they were just joking. And that was the most. It never been to a fact where they want to fight me, because they already knew I was a Green Bay Packer fan when I came into the dealership. No kidding. Now, yes, when I first started working there, they knew I was a Packer fan. I wore my hat there that day. All right, so this story has now obviously reached national level here. Uh, we, we, the first thing we thought was, wow, he'll be able to work at any car dealership in Wisconsin that he wants to. <laughs> Have you heard anything from uh, from up that way about job offers? Not yet. Uh, I have some more uh, things to do today. Nobody has uh, gotten in contact with me yet. <laughs> no question. Uh, all right, so Packers have hey, Perhaps a Super Bowl trip would be in the plans then if the Packers were to offer would, you one. That would be awesome. I'm a Packers fan <laughs> all the way. I'm a Packers fan all the way. Now, I do need to ask you a question that Robert, my uh, co-anchor today, asked me, is, uh, suggested that we ask you. You are a car salesman. We yes, know man. that you guys can haggle. We know <laughs> that you guys can negotiate. You were not able to successfully negotiate keeping your job. How come? <laughs> <laughs> Never got a chance to even, um, I didn't get a chance to say I was approved. Uh, I didn't get a chance to say anything. I would have even explained it to him because my grandmother is a, a, was a Packers fan. Uh, we buried her this past Friday. And that was the whole reason why me wearing the tie was because I'm like, well, my, my grandmother's death just happened and they won. Jackpot. I like, I could finally, I, I'm happy. She's happy. And that's why I wore it Monday. Wow. Well, terribly sorry to hear about your grandmother. Uh, as you move on, I know I see that you got a new job already. Is that true? Yes, I'm going in for interview today. Interview today, Homewood Chevy. Fantastic. And that's in Chicago. Uh, that is in Homewood, Illinois. Homewood, Illinois. All right. Well, if that doesn't work out, perhaps uh, moving to Wisconsin would not be a bad option. But hey, <laughs> we really appreciate the time here, John, and uh, uh, best of luck to you in landing that new job. Thank you so much.